Hi, welcome back. Now we will learn how to display a secondary report as a part of intake report in ALV. So what is the meaning of secondary report? Currently, once we execute this report and if you click here, so what we have done, we have called transition code ME23N in display mode. And you can see that screen. And once we click on type button, again, we'll go back to output of the previous report. So continue to this as a part of intact to LV report. This time what we'll do, we'll display a second internal table of the same report in the output instead of calling a separate transition code. So for that, what we'll do, like here we are displaying purchase order along with the line item. Okay, here you can see the different line items. And for the line item schedule, we have one table, EKET. So here we get the schedule details, line item schedule. Suppose if your quantity, order quantity here is 100. Okay, or here is 110. So how the 110 is ordered, what is the delivery schedule? On which date, like when they will deliver the required material. That schedule and detail we will get in this table EK80. So in the secondary list, we will display those data. So for that, what we have to do here, like I will display, uh, I will declare one more internal table here as a EKET. This time I am referring to data dictionary table EKET type is standard table of EKET and second I want a work area. So work area will define as GS underscore EKET. Okay. This is internal table and second is structure and will also require one fill cat block for secondary list. So that I will declare here and will add all as here one. Okay. Count one will complete the painter. So this GT underscore F cat, the first one will use to display the first report and second one to display the second report. Fine. So before writing the coding for the second steps, so let's get one fill catalog for the secondary list. Only two, three columns I will display the secondary list just to explain the concept how it works. Okay, so here this time we'll write display data underscore ek18. And here end form and this time we'll use gt underscore fcat1 at all the places layout1 and this time I'm not going to use this cell option okay I'm not using that cell option and what we'll do we'll just use addresses remaining all the fields we can simply replace like gt underscore fcat1 okay. so first column will display there gt uh, that is ebl po number i am creating fill catalog for the second table display data ekat so second column will display eblp third this one et enr first column second is eb elp that is line item and we don't require hotspot here okay and now third field I want to display here as ETANR let me confirm the field name other ETANR and then we we'll display mench Okay, also let's say like EINDT, schedule and date. The first ETANR. Ok, 
okay schedule line item and then let's say schedule line date for schedule line date here we have ei entity ei entity schedule line date and then mench that is quantity okay that is mench here we'll write quantity so only this four five columns i am going to display and here i'll use the same output function model we use underscore lv same output i will use this time with different table so after building the field catalog with the new details here i will display the table gt underscore ekt okay variant one field catalog also one layout one and i'm not going to display here pf status let me hide tab of page also okay so we we'll simply display the data of gt underscore ekt table that is the secondary table fine so now our display data ekt is ready so we'll add the required coding now into the our user command of the first report that is basic report okay so here user command what we are written when user double click currently we are not checking any field name we are directly reading the index and checking if ebl is not initial so this time i will add field check here so i want to call this only when user click on ebl field for remaining all perform other activity so for that in this user command routine what i will do is not initial and how to know the field name for field name in this rs underscore cell field there is a field called field name okay equal to eb eln only if user click on purchase order number then only this will display and the else part what we will do else if gs underscore list eb eln is not initial I'm not displaying individual line item. I will display the whole purchase order schedule. If you want to display only individual line item, then here you can add check for if EBLP is not initial. Clarity underscore EKET and select all from EKET into table. Why I'm using into table here? Because the internal table I have declared. Has the same structure of EKT. That's why no need of use corresponding. Where EBLN equals to GS underscore list EBLN. So check activate. And now here perform display data underscore EKT. Fine. So first system will display the first list and if user click on EBLN system will call ME23N and for other field system will display the secondary list. Okay. Now execute the report. I can execute. So this is the first primary list output. So if I click here on 10, PO number 10. So here system is called ME23N. Now, if I double click on any other field, okay, system, no action. So let me set a breakpoint there. So what I will do, I will set one breakpoint here in the user command. And we'll debug this like why this data is not getting displayed into gt underscore ekt or data is right we check if any issue here 
for loose good salary PID count one EBLN variant one EK eighty okay set one more breakpoint here and we'll set a breakpoint okay now I set a breakpoint here so we'll check in debugging mode why the secondary list is not getting displayed execute this now if I double click here on this row peer number 8 line item 10 debugging is very important so through debugging we can learn this so first set a breakpoint and they go inside here index is 7 see so this time EBL is not initial and the field name is EBELP okay so first check will fail hmm? this check is fail oh why it is not coming in the else part oh sorry here it is not initial hmm? my coding is wrong here here I have written if is initial this should not initial Here, how to check if JS underscore is not initial. Okay, so I can no need of breakpoint again, but as I already set a breakpoint, system will trigger that. So now, if I double click here, the second breakpoint is triggered. Delete a breakpoint, effect, and check the record in gt underscore ekt. This time I have two records here. Execute. See in the output, I can see three record. Po number, sorry, two record. Okay, but why other columns are not coming? Because for the primary list, I have created one layout and that I have set as default. So that's why to select the additional column. Double click here or select this column and click on this arrow button. Now you can see all the details. Okay, so like this, we can display the secondary report. So this is the peer number 8, line item 10, and the quantity is divided into two schedules. First is 1 with 100 quantity and 2 with 10 quantity, and you can see the schedule landed. If I click on back button, so again system will display the primary list. Okay, so if I click on any other pure number, see. Okay, so like this, we can display the secondary report and we can also display one more secondary, uh, like third report by adding some more logic into the second user command. Right. So because from first report, I am going to second report. So that's why here, here in the first report, ALB function model, we use this user command. So take example, for going to third report, you want to do some different activity. So for that reason, what we have to do? In this secondary output function model, create one more user command, either you can use the same one operate other one and we can write all logic there also so in this way we will learn how to display the secondary report in the same ALV report now next we will learn how to call uh, another report through the submit command that we will learn in the next session thank you